alpha talk and uh, some alpha shits going on. <laughs> alpha it's funny, shit. like right when we start this shit is when things go down. It's almost like we, you know, we could start a podcast on any like rabbits and all of a sudden there'd be some rabbit news going down the next week, yeah. basically. It's like we, we rabbit the population way. triples. You're yeah, like, whoa, exactly. fuck. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah. GameStop, but, but, GameStop, Street, the real gamer gate. Yeah. Um, and yeah. what that's crazy because you know, like you were saying, we started Rare Candy when mm-hmm. Super Tuesday. Literally, since then, the world has gone like insane. Yeah. So this we start. You know, hey, it's 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 on it's grassroots, but still, I'm just saying. Yeah. I, I think we're tossing out, we're tossing chaos into the universe. I think, but yeah, yeah, yeah. None, nonetheless, uh, GameStop. So yeah. explain just from the beginning right two two days ago day and a half ago maybe uh that this happened explain it to me like i am like i'm me and don't understand yeah. so well i guess the broad well like gamestop's one of those companies that is like on the verge of you know everyone's like calling it it gonna be bankrupt basically, almost right? blockbuster kind of almost yeah, yeah exactly and uh um so that's one of those things that like the fucking uh uh, like you know, the hedge fund vulture types will they'll just short that shit all day long, you know, and as part of their portfolio, as part of their plan, you know, for making money for themselves and their clients, right? And uh, and then Wall Street Bits, uh, the subreddit, which is yeah. a subreddit I'm I was actually subscribed to before they banned it or whatever. You like yeah, you liked uh, them before they were cool. Yeah, well, I know. I mean, you were listening since see, their mixtapes. Yeah, I would always see them. Yeah, exactly. I would always <laughs> see, see them around and shit, and I. Um, I was like, oh, you know, like, you know, this is cool. At first, I was like, oh, it's just some finance bros doing dumb stuff. And I, the way I try and trade is definitely, you know, not like what they do. Like, yeah. they're just full risk on. And I'm like, it'll ruin you, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, which most people don't. And I'm well, not super there. You can trade super conservatively. I'm like, maybe I'm like 80 20. You know what I mean? I'm kind of there. Yeah. Like 80, um, which way? Know, I'm well, I I tend to be more conservative, you know. Okay, in, gotcha. in terms of trading. Trading is already risky. You know, yeah. Yeah. You have to, yeah. But these guys are just like, you know, full like, all right, we're all in on fucking, you know, Nokia type shit. And uh, um, but so they they were noticing they were like, okay, we can we can uh we, we can put these these guys shorts underwater by pumping the stock if we mm-hmm. all get together and do it as like a hive mind, right? Mm-hmm. You know, like you know, this guy puts in 30 K I'll put in a hundred bucks, whatever, just open longs, just buy the shit, just keep buying and buying. And, uh, and short squeeze, it's called a short squeeze when, you know, you know, everyone fakes out on the short side and then it just, just like launches crazy high. Half a play, Bitcoin play all the action time. pass, man. Yeah, just fucking. Yeah, exactly. It's play action pass. It's beautiful trade on Bitcoin too. It happens all the time. Like when you get a short squeeze on Bitcoin, you know, it's like, cause I don't know. It's just, it just happens all the time. And if you can recognize it, right and there's ways you can recognize it at least i i know how to on on bitcoin uh, i'm not a stock guy so i don't know you know right but it's just all you could see are volume. the charts similar yeah they're similar yeah they're i mean it's all the same in some ways and then some differences for sure um i mean bitcoin's 24 7 right right there's no there's no bell you don't ring the fucking bell yeah there's no aftermarket because it's uh, just always on you right. know and um but uh, the thing I like about Bitcoin is because there's just so much free data for, you know, volume at certain levels and just all sorts of stuff. It's just like a, an insane data. Like, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. But anyway, so, yeah, these Reddit guys just short squeezed these giant hedge funds and I think put one of them under. Yeah, Melvin, right? Like $15, Melvin, billion, yeah. dollar, $15 billion hedge fund had to go bankrupt in like two days, which is crazy. Like, why does our economy run off of hedge fund shorting GameStop like that if you get ruined in two days like that's not good you're not a good hedge fund you no. know I mean? like, but but right? it doesn't it's apply like, to them though like it like yeah. for us like like uh you know let's mm-hmm. take COVID in, in, a, in a thing where like your boss will be like dude week off of work that kills you yeah maybe you shouldn't have gone to Cancun last year exactly. or like yeah, like yeah, shit yeah. like that but it doesn't apply to these fuckers because oh, exactly like, you don't understand the yeah. implications and, and yeah no and there's so there's funny. dumb people that are like Oh, I would never short Bitcoin. I would never short a stock. I'm like, dude, I short all day long. I, I know, you're, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? The way people are just like, but if I open up a short, I got, you know, I know where I'm wrong and I got a tight stop loss and I'm, I'm going to lose fucking 
you know, 1% of my account, 2% of my account if I'm Plus, wrong. Plus, dude, honestly, something max, about short, you know? something about shorting, being right on a short is so sick. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just the, the, the optics of it. You're like, yeah, like actually, I don't know. Short, yeah, I don't know. Short, For some reason, it looks tight. Shorting's really, well, really shorting is just in like bull markets. Just it's designed. Well, there's no design about it, but it's what it is. Is it's taking money from retail, like that are FOMO FOMOing in, right? Uh huh. You know, if Bitcoin jumps like thirty to thirty five k, and then everyone's on the, like everyone's grandma is buying a Coinbase or buying on Coinbase, right, and driving the uh-huh. price up. And then you're like, okay, this shit's not going to sustain. And then you just short it. And then, yeah. And so you gain more, more Bitcoin versus the US dollar and you can hedge. That's a good way to hit. Like, let's say you're in a crazy bull market and you got, this is what you do if you have like large amount of, of cash, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, if you got a hundred K or more or whatever amount, you know, but, and, and you're like, all right, I'm up and I I'm up in Bitcoin. And, but if, if I go to sleep and Bitcoin crashes three K I don't want to lose that U.S. dollar value. Right. So you just open up a one X short with the stop loss above that. And if you short, you gain Bitcoin and your U.S. dollar stays the same. Yeah. And if you lose that trade and it goes, it goes to the moon, you lose a little bit of Bitcoin, but the value of Bitcoin goes up so much higher because it's rising. Right. So basically uh-huh. you, that's a hedge. So you're, you're, you're able to, you know, you're able to make money both ways basically, or at least protect right. your loss. Yeah. But these hedge funds, they are like, so, you know, if I or retail, yeah, same thing. If I, if I open up a short and get liquidated, people are like, are you stupid? Like, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you manage your risk? But these GameStop hedge fund bros are, they're shorting this shit and they doubled, this thing is they doubled down. That's what ruined them is they didn't admit they were wrong. They're like, all right, Reddit, you had your fun for a day. Another fucking, uh, n- another fucking put option. Let's go, you yeah. know, just drive it down. And then, boom, and then Reddit's like, fuck you. And just drove it even higher. But yeah, so and I'm seeing people, dude, I'm seeing like, people like, do we sell now? Like yeah. I, I've seen the meme. I don't have it in front of me, but the meme where it's like the, you know, the, the please have sex with me. I'm so horny. And then like the guys, like the Chad meme guys, like watching, like, no, I got to do this. It's like that yeah, format, yeah, yeah. but yeah. it says like, please sell now. We could be so rich. And he's like, we must make them pay. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's kind of no true. it's funny yeah dude it's it's crazy yeah and um yeah and as you just seen all these like you know it's funny watching like the regular media because you know me you know me personally i was ne- i'm not in the furthest thing from a stock finance dude I don't right know, i never was attracted to that you know and still to this day i'm like i i have the apps and shit and i i could trade it but i'm just i just like love crypto it's something and i love trading that shit it's just a totally different vibe for me uh-huh and i know and don't get me wrong like i don't want to like dude, the crypto markets are extremely manipulated and this should happen everyone's freaking out about we'll talk about ramen hood you know and everything that happens all the time on that happens like every week on coinbase right. the coinbase is down for like three hours and then it's like you wake up you're like oh shit it's bitcoin's down for like, a bit I seven could, i would trade yeah, it dude. it wouldn't let me like get out of my trade like sometimes. yeah yeah like, Mother- motherfucker uh-huh. i'm at like up like 300 percent fucker yeah. like yeah exactly oh yeah yeah that's good yeah, no, it does happen. And shorts, I mean, and the thing is that in these, they do short squeezes all the time, and um, they, but watching these like CNBC mofos like cry about like dude, these short, like short squeezes are. I'll play that on our other one with what, what, what yeah, we do dude. later. I, I'll play those yeah. those clips. I have me rolling. Yeah, like, dude. Like just, it's so funny. Yeah, yeah. and and so now and I. What's funny? Some, what's funny about this is. This could keep happening. There's no, there's nothing stop. This could keep happening forever. They could pick a different one every week. We could literally just use the internet AMC just, right now, right? Yeah, it, is, it couldn't. St- it's like whack a mole. You know what I mean? They could just keep doing this all over and over and over again. Yeah. And I, I know, know. You, you'd see like I know Mitt Romney, yeah. and I want to say he's with Bain Capital was was his company, um, or something. Bain something like Capital. That. I think it's something like that, beta yeah. capital. Yeah. But uh, he like he Batman? was man, like fucking yeah, yeah right, yeah. exactly, something yeah. like that. I, I forget what I forget what his company was, but they did that with Toys R Us. Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. You remember that? Like what? Because Toys R Us went under, and like that's like some people our age, like some like el- like millennialish type. Yeah, thing. Toys R Us. Oh my dude, God. I have a funny story about that. I I uh, was with my cousin and her two young boys. They were like, you know, five, five and seven, right? right? And we we all heard we're like yeah Toys R Us is going out of business, and we're like they're like having this crazy sale like we gotta go fucking you know like ninety percent off sure sure yeah we like rush down there, and all these people inside like ripping down the shelves and everything and and the doors were fucking locked like we missed it like it was like (laughs) they said it was open and it wasn't and like we missed Romney puts the fucking crowbar yeah he's like nope (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry yeah yeah Yeah. (laughs) but yeah man it's it's ridiculous it's like and that's what's funny about like. 
something about trading currencies, whether it be Forex or crypto or whatever, obviously it's all bullshit. It's all, I hate finance bros that don't admit that it's all bullshit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I know what I'm doing. I'm, it's like I gamblers know, that admit there's no luck involved. Like, yeah. It's, my it's like, I, yeah. It's like, I know, like, I know what, this is all a fairy tale. You know what I mean? And it's all just like a dumb astrology. But the know? money's real, my friend. Yeah. But it's like, and, but the thing is, is like with the currencies, at least there's like something and maybe I'm bullshitting myself, but there's utility there. There's, you know, there's these privacy coins, there's decentralization, there's all these positive benefits of crypto. And if you're smart, you can happen to trade them for more crypto, right? But just as a utility, they're good. Whereas like stocks is like, dude, that shit is like ar- archaic fucking, yeah. you know, like you can't, you're not going to change Congress. You're not going to change the, you know, the SEC. You're not going to change Wall Street. Right. You know what I mean? And uh, so even though the crypto is totally manipulated and everything, whatever, all you need to do is just, know, you know, just be a technical trader. Just trade tech, trade the charts for right. technically what they give you. Um. Although last, oh, I was so bummed. I, I almost went, I have one account that I swing trade on. Um, you know, don't do any leverage. Don't do any longs or shorts. I just like buy and hold all right, right, basically right. right on an, on an app on my phone. Um, I use Abra basically. Uh, oh, yeah. It, yeah. And I, I almost went all in on Dogecoin like last night. Dude, it's and going I, crazy today. And I was like, I was like, fuck it. I just, I just put this all in Dogecoin. And yeah, and it popped like 3X right now. I don't know. So I was kicking our, myself our, today. Our friend who's eventually, uh, maybe soon, uh, Curtis uh, Remark's going to be on here pretty soon. And he, mm. he's he's living a very Dogecoin life today. Just a, just a yeah. in, indulgent life because he, he's crushing on fucking on right Doge, on. Dogecoin. Yeah, I got to, yeah. I got to, got to give a shout out to him. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, that I was, I was meaning to ask you. So, there's a lot of people like I see kind of like cynical people that are yeah. saying like, dude, this doesn't mean shit. Like this doesn't mean anything. And while I, I somewhat agree, like I, Wall Street's going to win eventually, like, of course, they're going to win. Like yeah, there's, yeah. there's going to be something that happens. But what I find this could be a tool for is for people to take what they're doing right now, especially people that are like, hey, shit, I want to get in on this. Like maybe people yeah. have never traded before until today. And they're like, wait, hold on. Maybe you can move to crypto, right? Something that, yeah. they, that they can't touch as easily, you know, or, or you know, yeah. of course, there's going to be ways like fucking up some trading sites, finding a way, to, of course. Right. But yeah. well, you think that's that, something that could happen. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it already is. And the, you know, there's so, yeah, there's already in the UK and America and United States in particular, they, they have so much regulation, so much weirdness around it, you know, and it, it's, you know, they do the whole like, they have their cake and eat it too. They they call it a currency, but they tax it as property kind of thing, right? And so mm-hmm. they they skirt both legal definitions and, uh, but but yeah, what's I think what's really happening next. This is why I'm so into Ethereum because so much is built on Ethereum that's decentralized, uh, DeFi, de- decentralized finance, and like Uniswap is the thing where you can you know the technology is so crazy now is where you, you don't even need an exchange. You can just fi- with the tech is so so nar now you you could just find another buyer another side of your trade anywhere without any without anything without just you literally you just need a wallet and you know some crypto and and you know and obviously it's like wild wild west right now you know in terms right. of that whole scene and um you can get super rich doing that and just get totally rug pulled and lose it all you know if you don't manage your your shit yeah i just but, i just uh, i just wonder but if yeah but band yeah, together totally. and do that you know like and just something because like well, they're like pumping a, doge yeah i mean exactly, super, yeah, exactly exactly something yeah. like that like if everybody just agreed on a coin and i understand yep. insider trading whatever i understand mm-hmm. what the fuck just happened today right you know or, or like that so i think that's what's going to happen like yeah. there yeah and that's the whole this gets to the core of that it's actually pretty profound like the whole argument of like free market versus centralization of right. government and all that stuff and it's like you know, obviously the best is something that where you can, and I have friends that aren't into Bitcoin because they claim it's too centralized. You know, they, they're like, it's too, the fuck do they like? It's too, well, they, their whole thing is like, you know, like, and, it, and, and I know them personally, and this is, this is not them being like xenophobic or anything, but they're like, China's got all the, the mines, you know, it's all, it's all, it's centralized there basically. Right. Yeah. And um, it's like a mouse trap for them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. But also, I don't even care about that. I'm just I'll trade Bitcoin all day, you know. Um, but yeah, no, totally, yeah. And I, I think part of what's moving forward with humanity, because you know, we can, you know, what's worse, right? Having like a wild west scenario where we, we pump each other's bags, you know, back yeah. and forth, 
mutual or, aid or having like no control over the dollar and just having all these dumb governmental agencies like yeah. just totally oh bed up. bath and beyond oh i guess yeah. today bed bath and beyond is gonna make people fucking fly private jets now and shit yeah, like dude. on some fucking royco what's up with, what's up with Ro- royco yeah, yeah. shit like fuck what's up with robin hood though dude well um and and i it's funny because we're gonna do two episodes today so i don't know how much i want to say today but uh yeah. robin hood's like selling people's accounts like or not yeah, selling yeah. those accounts but they're they're cashing people out like prematurely yeah. and locking people out of their accounts they're sending emails let me see if i have it right here uh they're sending emails to people yeah i keep getting emails from them yeah yeah where, where they're where they're saying something like oh you know we actually here we go perfect got it um let me put this on the share uh and here we go so uh yeah important information about your your uh robin hood account in light of recent volatility and this is uh this is in yeah. port noise mentioned so we yeah. can we can assume it's verified um he's the the the, the, the man's a hero right now uh shout yeah. out uncle doomer friend of rare candy had one of the best tweets ever 2020 hey bernie might have this done uh, my bernie might get this done wow things might change and then doomer goes 2021 dave portnoy is going to decentralize currency <laughs> like, yeah what it says we all like, knew dave portnoy was more socialist I, you and i were where we bought low on portnoy yeah for sure we did yeah you got yeah. me into him yeah yeah i mean he's a king dude i mean he's not a perfect man he's yeah not a perfect man I, I probably isn't even that good of a man honestly but i think he's right yeah. and uh this guy that's keeping small businesses open keeping everybody afloat and stuff yeah. and, and, and look is that like some people will be like oh whatever yeah okay he doesn't have to do that yeah yeah like he doesn't have to do that like barstool's gonna succeed Joe without Biden small doing yeah, yeah it's, it's like no. yeah it's Did you see uh carl's tweet today Mm-mm. option gang Oh, it's funny. Oh, uh, wait. I mean, he's like, he's like, can Biden even send a fucking tweet? Like, is there any like <laughs> yeah. even tweet about this at all? And, and yeah. I said, I, I put the link of top five old people phones. I'm like, he's using one of these, dude. I don't think you can yeah, fucking tweet. But yeah. so it says important information about your Robin Hood account. This is just somebody saying an alert they got in light of recent volatility. We are restricting transactions for certain securities to position closing only. However, Due to the unreasonable risk involved in brokering your position, we have closed your 4,500 shares of GME. God damn, you're winning on that one. Uh, for an average price of 118.93, which was the I bottom mean, of the day, right? Wasn't that the lowest? Was of the it? Day? Was it the bottom? Yeah, yeah I did, I, that's insane. how convenient, dude. Yeah. Know. it's Oops. risky. We're we're gonna yeah, like, like literally they spun the a wheel, like they spun a wheel, and it did, they did, caught did, 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 did the bottom of the thing. Yeah, yeah, they caught. <laughs> They caught the knife, dude. They they got the wick, yeah, to the dollar. Dude. Caught the bullet like, with their teeth. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, how could and, they have known? I mean, oh wow, it's how not like they could. They have it's known. not like they sell their order flow to all the hedge funds, to market makers. We don't know. Yeah. Look, it's exactly. Robin Hood. Ironically, Robin Hood steal from the rich, give to the poor. Oh what yeah, are they doing man. here. Yeah, what are they doing here? That's yeah, funny dude. too, because there's people saying like you can. Uh, uh, here's uh, Robin Hood's headquarters in uh, mm. menlo park it's so funny dude i've had so many uh jobs at my yeah you, working. you've been there right i've yeah, literally worked in the front of that thing dude it's like the most beta small like it looks like yeah. like a runoff church like the little thing like <laughs> a little small like lutheran church it okay. doesn't look like a bit yeah. like i i guarantee you everybody in their head's picturing this huge google building it's this tiny yeah. little thing um with like these super like castle style doors it's yeah just, dude and nobody looks happy there yeah. and uh I'm, I'm just laughing at people like it's gonna be so funny if they actually do protest i, I really hope i work in menlo park when that happens i'm gonna laugh yeah, my dude, ass yeah off. yeah um but yeah i don't i don't know it, uh it's wild. shit dude uh, i it's yeah, yeah. I, I i'm not sure about i'm not sure about i, I think the next well, move is to, is to go crypto man like i just do what we're doing here to crypto like that's it's just weird how yeah it's like what, what did they give it? They gave us like five years of, you know, inching our way slowly towards more. And that's why I was, ne- see, that's why I never got into the, I never got into the stocks, dude. Cause like, I knew this shit was like, even though they're like, Oh no, they're making it. So where anyway, you can buy fractional shares and anyone could get into it now with your phone. And I was like, they're going to fucking, they're going to fuck this shit up. Dude. And Ryan, like, you I, said, I'm sorry, you said something earlier to me today. And I, I mean, I'm not shocked by this cause it's a, it's an app. So why wouldn't it be? But like it shares information with hedge funds. Robert, Robert so Hood? yeah so they they basically provide their order flow um to data to market makers at hedge funds which is like gold you know they get a cheat sheet like fucking they basically get the answers yeah, to the test and it's like and you know order flow is like because what that and that's how they're able you know that saying right if, if it's free you're the customer right that's Correct. that's what's happening here yeah you're you're that's some high school your, economics teacher right there 
you're yeah. losing money on your Robin Hood trades because they're, and it doesn't even have to be, that's the thing. It, I'm not saying you can't win at Robin Hood, but all they need to do is beat that 50%, right? And, 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 uh, but yeah, and order flow, I mean, order flow is just a thing. Like I use order flow for Bitcoin. You can use it for any kind of trading, you know, it's just yeah. more data basically. And yeah, good traders use it. And, um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's just a way. Yeah, exactly. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's just pure alpha for them, you know? And hey, we have so to anyway, so we, we don't, we don't so like it, like but we have to respect saying, it. And they, they got their email today and they're like, they're, they're like, uh, they're like, now we're to be clear, this wasn't due to any pressure from any market the best. or any, and it's like, yo, it's like Citadel or what's that one? Citadel, right? Like they, they're the ones that like, they're the, they're the fucking puppet master behind Robin Hood. Basically, you could you could presume, you know. Oh, right? and guess because, who? Uh, guess who yeah. uh, made? Uh, I want to say eight hundred and ten thousand dollars last year speaking at the Citadel for Citadel. Oh yeah, the uh, Janet, Janet Yellen. Janet, yeah, Janet Yellen. Yeah. More like Janet. Shut up. How about yeah. that? <laughs> and uh, and uh, no, Janet she... not listening to your <laughs> fucking expensive ass speech, dude. Yeah, <laughs> Janet tuned out. Yeah, yeah, and dude, she, uh, yeah. yeah. So that's funny. Biden's Crazy. nah, tre- Treasury Secretary. I'm sure there's nothing. There's nothing yeah. there. Yeah, that's Russian shit. If we say something yeah. about that, did you see that press conference? The whole yeah, the like, I what do you think about the yeah, yeah? And they're like, well, she's a woman, so and they just kept saying that. it was literally there was a Family Guy bit. <laughs> yeah, it was dude. literally that yeah. where they're yeah. like, what's the mayor of Koha? You know, Koha. Yeah. What are they gonna do about this? It's like, well, we got a woman treasurer, and it's Lois. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. And yeah. so, uh, yeah, it's it's funny. So yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, for those of you. I don't want to get. You got anything more on that? Because I don't want to get too far in. Because we're nah, gonna we'll get into it more. Yeah, whole episode sure. tonight, pretty much. Yeah. Um, but I do think this whole thing was a, a deep state that coup to get me to not talk about my gambling weekend. Yeah, uh, yeah. Conference championship. So exactly. Divisional yeah. round. Divisional round. I had it. It was a nightmare. Like I said, yeah. it was the night of broken glass. It yeah. was just. It was just bad. You, got, um, you couldn't make a right move. Could, yeah. Couldn't make a right move. Wouldn't matter yeah. what I pick. Ha, yeah. If if you were a fan of any of the teams that lost, you should have told me to bet on the other team, and that, yeah. your team would have won. That's how that's how bad it was. Yeah. Um. But we bounced back. We bounced yeah. back. And part of the reason. Um. And let me find it. I got. I got to put this one up. Um. It's a. Uh, no, you don't. So yeah, I I was down. I was down. I was like, man. It sucks. Took the week off. So, well, no, I'm not touching anything. Doesn't matter. Even if I see the perfect bet, I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. Um, then the Lions hired their new coach. The Lions hired their new coach, and I and I'm thinking like, okay, it's the Lions. They're probably going to be shitty, right? Like they're they're probably going to not make a good decision at head coach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so they hired Dan Campbell. Dan Campbell's a hard knocks legend. If you if you watch hard knocks, he's uh, he's he's great. And uh, this is what he had to say, and this got me back into it, man. This, this is what he got me back into it. Here we go. This is just from uh, yeah. from his uh, introductory press conference. So this team's going to be built on uh, we're going to kick you in the teeth, all right, and, and when you punch us back, we're going to smile at you, and when you knock us down, we're going to get up, and on the way up, we're going to bite a kneecap off, all right, and we're going to stand up, and then it's going to take two more shots to knock us down, Yep. all right, and on the way up, we're going to take your other kneecap, and we're going to get up and then it's going to take three shots to get us down. And when we do, we're going to take another hunk out of you before, before long, we're the going to be the last one standing. All right. That's going to be the mentality. So this team's going to be, that's, that's what I'm fucking talking that's a about. roller coaster, dude. That's, that was a that's fucking, what I'm fucking wild ride. About. You know what? Dude, right I lost there, dude. both yeah. my kneecaps last week, but you can still win without yeah. your kneecaps, right? Yeah. So that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, happened. Yeah. Sidebar. Doesn't it sound like they still lose the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, like, we, like, we yeah, gave our best, just, and just, we fuck it. Yeah. yeah, injury report for yeah. their next week opponent. It's gonna be terrible because we injured everybody. But yeah. <laughs> Kneecaps gone. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. So, so <laughs> here's what happened, and so much stuff has happened since then. I had to do a recap. So it was uh, we had conference championship weekend. We had Chiefs and Bills, uh, Brady versus Rogers, Bucks and Packers. So I won't get into the strategy that you and I employed that week because it's yeah. not, we haven't we haven't gotten it down to the science yeah yeah we're so not there yet we, yeah. we're not uh-huh. there yet we're not there yet yeah. there's there's some some ob- yeah. some some things outside of our brains that we're using here and yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's funny because the two things you sent me i had already done it i was like yeah 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 cool. you took we were all on the same page so yeah, i do the we crypto all... deposit i reload it right i, I reload it yeah. so i take the free play i make a two-team parlay yeah i just thought of the free play chief's money line which is beta. They covered the spread. It's kind of beta when you win the money line, but they covered yeah, the spread. Yeah. Like you could have had better winnings. 
that's yeah. fine. So I, yeah. I took Chiefs money line and Bucks covering, right? Bucks have getting four points. Yeah. I'll never ever pick against Brady. And I won't say never ever because I might do it this in the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but I'll never pick against Brady. <laughs> the most iconic Brady game of all time. Yeah, let's let it ride. I might, yeah. I might not, I, if it's yeah. over three points, I, I can't do it because he's over three, three point five. Yeah, an eighth, okay. a Tom Brady yeah. eighth of Kush. Okay. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, and no. Yeah. So, I, but I'm saying, like Tom Brady, yeah. he doesn't usually lose every Super Bowl he's played in has been a pretty close game. Yeah, the Rams yeah. won a couple years ago, not really, but but still. And that's a nail biter at the fourth quarter as a better, right? You're just like Fuck. exactly. But you but, see him on the sideline, just like vibing out. You're like, yeah, if you bet go, against dude. him, you, yeah, yeah, you're an exactly, idiot. Yeah, exactly. If, 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 if the Chiefs, yeah. I think they're three and a half right now. We still have a whole another week to go, whole another week to go. So I, it's gonna be tough. I don't, I haven't yeah. made my pick yet. But I take Brady plus four. I go, look, man, I think I thought in my head, I thought the Packers were going to win by like a couple points. So I, I was like that, which would have been the best case scenario because I hate Tom Brady. Yeah. And uh, so that, that game goes to shit. Packers made it a game at the end. But uh, Brady just at, at halftime just drops a dime in to make it 28. I think 28, 17 at the half. It was yeah. crazy. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I missed that. I look, I looked. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? How yeah, is that even like, yeah, I'm going to go do dude. something like, right now because it's yeah, halftime. Yeah. It's six seconds left yeah uh yeah and that lost the game for the packers yeah but uh nonetheless so that that game covers right in that game i also took robert tanyan prop bet over three and a half catches yeah right west coast offense tight end aaron Rodgers is gonna be throwing all game i felt great about it with the packers being down double digits he's gonna have to throw they can't run the ball yeah so that that hit by like the early third i think yeah and yeah yeah. it was just like pfft. Easy money. So you already washed that one off. You're like, I already have a win. I'm not getting shut out. This is already yeah. better than last week. Yeah. So long story short, bucks cover. So I'm good there. Um, I had taken like really small, like high percentage prop bets. Just like, it's basically like a lot lotto ticket. Like if it yeah. hits, it hits. So that's fine. But we're, so we're up. Uh, then the chiefs game comes on and I'm yeah. feeling good about the chiefs game, but the bills got out to an early lead. So I'm like, fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The bills did get out to an early lead, but against Patrick Mahomes that's just like he, he basically spots yeah. E10 usually most of the time yeah exactly so spot yeah E10 like you know it's like your older brother running against you yeah and he's like I'll let you get like a five second yeah. head start I'm still gonna whoop your ass but yeah you know, exactly um kind of kind of like that so in that game I also had a two-player prop parlay so I, I you can do that you can you I, I took Cole Beasley over uh 49 and a half yards yeah paired up with uh Tyreek Hill over 79 and a half I want to say Okay. And Tyree kill can get that on one play. So I yeah. was like, you know what? I'll, I, I've, there's no chance like that. Neither yeah. of those hit. So that hits by probably around the third quarter. Chiefs are taking control of the game. Chiefs crush it. Look, Patrick Mahomes torments me. Tom Brady torments me. The Super Bowl is not a fun yeah. matchup for me personally as a Raider yeah. fan. Hate Patrick Mahomes. I, I've been hearing that he's been on the Epstein flight logs. Can't confirm, but, uh, <laughs> but um, Tom Brady for sure was there. I think he was driving the plane. And, yeah, he's uh, fucking, yeah, yeah, he's the pilot. Yeah, and and so shows up in a yacht. And he's like, hey, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah just, dude. your island's here too. I have an yeah. island over here. <laughs> yeah. where I kiss my son on the mouth. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> we have to get only on the island. island. Yeah, uh, today's America. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so, um, yeah. So then the then the Chiefs cover. Or, yeah. I'm sorry, win. I should I should have taken the points, but I was coming off a tough weekend, right? So. Any gamblers out there? When you come off a tough weekend, don't get overzealous. Just take, yeah. you know, take some sure bets. You know, I, I I really thought there was eight out of ten, eight out of ten times the Chiefs beat that Bills team. Yeah, Josh Allen's not there yet. He wasn't ready to go. Yeah. Cole Beasley, they at forty nine and a half yards. He he's a reception machine, little slot receiver. Like yeah, yeah, reception machine. Tyree Kill busts off a couple of huge runs. Actually, I got lucky on one pass too. Yeah, Tyree Kill thing. You can when they do these jet sweeps, right? Yeah, I've seen people lose prop bets off like a a, a like a swing pass that yeah. like later got got corrected into a rush because yep. it was thrown behind. Him. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And so you thought you had those reception yards. Yeah. But what's cool is instead of handing it to Tyreek Hill, he did a shovel pass like uh, yep. where he was in motion. The guy like it's all how they call the play. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's all. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. And yeah. It, and it's funny. You'll see like gamblers where you're like. You're like, why? Why is anyone still watching this game? And it's like, I had the fucking eighty-five yard yeah. fucking over shit. Like, they're like yeah. it's just a handoff. Nothing happened. And yeah, dude, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that happened. Um, basically, two x and some change. The 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 game. Are you break even from last week, or ahead, or still a little behind? Would you say you don't have to put numbers on it? 
slightly ahead. Nice. Slightly nice. ahead. And yeah. I, well, wow, I, I thought I'm, there was no coming back from that, to be honest. I was like, all right, ahead. you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I had to reload, but I, but I, no, I'm telling you, I, I, I really, yeah. The ones that hit, I needed to have hit and they hit. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Six and, sauce. and, yeah, and that's what's we, we parlay that into, uh, tonight and let me uh yeah. let me pull up our our thing I, I so the other night right just our method you and i are working on um uh there was a hiccup in it that's why it's not ready yet um it, it uh it's, we're thinking like hey let's take the lakers tonight yeah and i missed very it. close game i missed it i was just getting off of work yeah and i'm like ah i missed it oh well yeah you know what i mean lakers lose by one okay no problem yeah um and uh so then i was like you know what I'll put a, I'm going to watch the warrior game. And I went, I put, I went over 229. There were 41 points in the first quarter. And that's bad. If you have the over yeah. of 229, you're like, fuck dude, they're clanging it tonight. And yeah. Curry wakes up three points, three points, three points. Yeah. Hit that last night. Had a nice boom from that. There we go. Uh, Monday took a, took a little bit of a loss on NBA, but that's okay. Yeah. It wasn't anything cra- catastrophic. Yeah. Um, but then uh, today I'm going, this game's got to be starting in 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, Lakers uh, minus six and a half against Detroit Pistons. No Anthony Davis tonight. I don't care. Detroit sucks. Yeah. Um, I think the Lakers get it done. Yeah. Uh, and then I also have uh, the over in the Warriors game again. Kind of risky because the Warriors played last night. So back to back, usually the shots don't fall as much. But I think uh, Warriors against Phoenix is going to be a shootout. So right. went on that one. Um, that's at uh, seven tonight. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's it for me. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's just, you know, yeah. Can't wait to, yeah. Super what's, what's the rest, what's the rest of the basketball season look like? What's this shit going down? What do you basketball? mean? When's it, when's the, I don't know the basketball schedule. Like the oh, we're, season only, yeah, we're, we're fucking 18 games in the season. Man. Really yeah. Young. Yeah. But it seems like they were just played the fucking championships too like what's was it COVID lip, thing? Or lip is pandemic. It? Yeah. 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 It was, uh, it was the libs. It was yeah. the libs. And, I was like, know. didn't they just finish the season? I don't know. I'm yeah, just, LeBron's I'm like, dude, they're not even testing in China anymore. We got to yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got his finger on the pulse, dude. What's going on out there? Yeah. It's like the LeBron Fauci fucking alley-oop, dude. <laughs> yeah, Fauci dude. with the high John Stockton shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah Remember so. that Trump Portnoy, Portnoy interview? Yes. And course trump kept being like yeah if i keep I, like fauci apparently he's a great basketball player <laughs> so I'm like, dude. oh i heard he was a good baseball player too garbage yeah, <sighs> yeah all that pitch dude first pitch yeah because yeah, he got the vaccine probably yeah just <laughs> his arm right bell's before. palsy arm dude the fucking yeah fauci palsy <laughs> but, yeah <laughs> Yeah, his hand eye was all off, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) Yeah, he threw a fifty cent first pitch for that. Yeah, dude. But the uh, (laughs) so yeah, we're we're young in the NBA season. This is gonna be fun. I mean, NBA sucks too because they're having like, dude, the NBA has the weirdest protocol. Um, they had to. I want to say it was Bam Adebayo and Kyrie Irving, um, two real big, you know, players. They were trying to. Yeah. They do jersey swaps at the end of the game. That's oh, I saw do. this. Yeah, yeah. Dude, they had to do that shit like, like, like it was. They was fucking buying crystal meth off. Each yeah, other. dude. Like in the, yeah, in the yeah. locker room. But it's so funny. Like they're like, yeah. no, no, you do yeah. not switch jersey after that. And they said no high fives after free throws. But if you check out of the game, you can high five your teammates. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So it's gonna be a weird year of betting in the NBA. Like I, I'm already like, virus, dude. like don't yeah. don't yeah, exactly don't yeah. even don't, like th- this virus is pro GameStop short and it's um yep. it's it's anti NBA on gambling. It is yeah that's correct. Let's be real yeah. So we, we're gonna have to beat a lot of elements uh this yeah. year for gambling because that's true. That's but true. I'm back. I'm back. Let's I'm, go. I'm back. Yeah. I'm, Oh, we're, gonna, uh, we're gonna wave. I feel we're hot. Gonna, I feel like I have a good. I feel like I have kind of the like rain manish type thing going on. Sometimes, yeah. like, look, it's like it's like shooting a basketball. Sometimes you shoot a basketball, and you're like, how have I ever made a basket before? I can't yeah. make it. But then yeah, sometimes yeah. you're like, I bl- put a blindfold on me. Yeah, you know I mean, I'll, I'll mm-hmm. make this shit. Yeah, so, that, that's that's the way we're at right now. So hopefully yeah. these bets hit tonight. It'll be very funny if they don't. So yeah, and, and we'll talk about them next week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that's cool. And then we'll do a Super Bowl yeah. episode. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Yes. We we need yeah. it. dude. It would have been so awesome if you were gonna be fucking in Hawaii for the Pro Bowl. Like I know, dude. Yeah. Well, it's not it's not there anymore though. No, right? well, it's, no, it's yeah. not this year. Uh, yeah. But yeah. The, the uh so dumb. And I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it to you this way. 
you know a sick freak when they gamble on the Pro Bowl. Like you're yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Individual. Like yeah. like you should be there's no that. rhyme or reason for that. Regardless shit. of yeah, nationality, just... deported. Yeah. Like it just yeah. just horrible. If you if yeah. you bet on if you bet on the Pro Bowl, it's <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, like they're, yeah. they're just like I had AFC covering. Fuck. <laughs> like, uh, I know. Why isn't anybody taking this seriously? Yeah. <laughs> The flares all laughing on the sidelines and shit. Just like, why? Why is Travis Kelsey wearing a Hawaiian shirt? He's gotta have his pads on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. It. Yeah, yeah. I had so. an Uber. I had an Uber driver that he was talking the whole. He lived in a wa- in Honolulu and, and he loved football and he had like he kicked it. He ran into Jerry Rice like fucking ten times out there. He was super nice. like proud of that and everything. And he was just yeah. They don't give a fuck out there during Pro Bowl weekend. They're just like. There's fucking Turn mobbing, up. dude. Turn yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why I laugh when you bet on it. Dude, like, imagine, fucking, imagine Pro Bowl in the 90s and on Hawaii, dude. Jerry Rice. How fucking sick it would be to kick it out there with those or, guys. Or dude. like early 2000s yeah, with dude. like all the University of Miami guys like like Warren yeah, Sapp, yeah. Ed Reed. Like, oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Randy Moss. Like these guys, <laughs> guys <laughs> yeah, like dude. that. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. That's, uh, that's good. So, that's yeah, that, that should do it for us. That's, that's good. Uh, yeah. It's a good episode. Good AT. Um, yeah. Yeah. It was a very, very positive episode. Um, we're definitely going to uh, yeah. check that out. So uh, everybody make sure, you know, uh, if you don't listen to Rare Candy, check that out. Uh, we definitely had a, a very fun episode with Gay Stepdad and River. That was very fun. Um, that's yeah. out uh, all platforms. Uh, subscribe to that. Um, going to have another one coming out. So there's going to be a lot more GameStop coverage. That's why we didn't want to do too much of it right now. Yeah. Um, there's going to be a lot of GameStop talk so yeah uh we'll definitely on stop game stop yeah. talk on stop yeah, yeah. yeah. game stop yeah. won't stop never would yeah yeah good <laughs> <never would>. yeah <laughs> yeah mac dre yeah. but uh yeah all right guys that, that's it for us uh make sure you subscribe follow us on twitter at rare candy pod one he's at crypto i'm at glenn rockney all right see you guys